Hello people, going to be doing a uh, browser, hang on, give me a second, I'm sorry, there you go, um, we're going to be doing a browser test on the Samsung Galaxy S3, I've got um, the stock browser and also the Chrome beta and I will be doing a, I'll show you, I'll review the uh, stock first and then compare it to how this runs on Chrome beta, which I haven't actually used on this phone yet. And this is actually my second SGS3. The um, first one came with two dead pixels. So I got a new one from Amazon, came the next day, which is quite pretty good. I've still got my other one, um, but it's getting picked up tomorrow, being returned, so that's quite good. So yeah, let's get uh, straight into it, and we'll do some benchmarks. doing. Oh, it's downloading the font again. I, I've installed Ubuntu font. I'm not sure if you can see like the it's slightly different to the stock font. I quite like it. I prefer it anyway. Wait for that to go. Thank you very much. Right. So let's uh, get rid of that. Into here. And we'll delete all the history to make it as good as possible. We'll put plugins to always on. I'm going to start off the test with. Let me zoom in a little tiny bit for you. So we get the whole screen in shot. There we go. We'll start off with HTML5 speed reading. Designed by Microsoft. So I'm going to have to zoom out because this camcorder is not very stable when it's filming. Slightly zoomed in. So we get a frames per second rating of 15. Not great. This is on the stock browser, and we'll try another one. And we're getting 15 again. Not great. So let's try a different test. Let's go to. The HTML5 test. 395 and 3 bonus points out of a total of 500 points. See there, I don't actually recognise what I'm running. It says you're using a Samsung Galaxy M running Android 4.0.4. No, I'm not. I'm running a Samsung Galaxy S3 running 4.0.3, I think. Let me check actually quickly for you. No, it's 4.0.4, but it's not Galaxy M. No, incorrect. Right, so let's compare to others. Hmm. Okay, maybe not on there then. There we go. So I got three nine five. That is faster than the focus. Come on. That's faster than Firefox 12 desktop, Safari desktop, Internet Explorer 9, um, Opera. Slightly slower than Chrome and a little bit, quite a lot worse than Maxathon. Um, it beats Safari's development one, beta. I think there's a mobile section on here. Oh, no, maybe not. But you can see that's a very, very good score on just the stock browser. We'll go to some different websites now, not just benchmark websites. Let's try the Sky Sports homepage. It should go to the mobile page. Let's see how quick that's gone to there. We'll go to the desktop page. You can see how quickly this runs. Unbelievably fast. This is a big flash element here. Does have some rendering issues when it's trying to render flash players, but very nice, very smooth, very quick scrolling. It gets a little bit blacks out sometimes, but when it's pre cached, it, it works quite well. Okay, let's try another site. I don't know why this local keeps coming up. 
Um, let's try. Let's try Android Central. Again, go to the mobile site. Nice and quick. It's the full version. Didn't register the first time. There we go again. Very quick loading. Very very smooth. Very good browser. Very happy with it. The only thing I don't like about it, and if you know how to change this, please comment and let me know. But you can't, when you zoom into there, and then on the Galaxy Nexus, you could, well, sorry, on the One X, you could zoom into how you want it, and then double tap and it rewrap. But here, you can sort of just double tap and it won't, it doesn't text rewrap, which is quite annoying because you have to sort of zoom right out to like that level to be able to read the whole thing when you want to be sort of like about there, preferably. But. Only a minor complaint. Like, like I said, if there's anyone that can help me with that, um, please let me know. Let's try another page. Let's try. No, let's not try that. Let's try. Let's try the Verge. That's always a big website. Again, to the mobile site. Can you do straight to desktop on this? Yes, you can. I'll try desktop view. I forgot. That's another feature on the browser. You can click there to go straight to desktop view. And you can save to, for offline reading, you can change the brightness and the colours. You can see, we're going at a level 3, it makes it very blue. But just default for now. And see how quickly that loads. And it's just, it's loaded completely already. Works really well on the smooth smoothness of the scrolling. Very happy with it. Um, the Galaxy S3 browser, also if you zoom out to here, you get all the tabs that are open. You get rid of it there, and then up here you've got a little incognito mode which is uh, I think we all know what that's for it took a little while sometimes it does that with the home screen when it hasn't it's not already in memory it does that okay let's try chrome beta and see if we get any different results so let's try the HTML5 test very quick there we've got 395 on the last one 371 and 11 bonus points on this one, so actually worse than the stock browser for some reason. Um, that's pretty good for Samsung. HTML5 speed reading mobile. Again, made by Microsoft, so don't expect a great score. We've got 15 frames per second on the stock browser. We're getting 60 on the Chrome Beta browser, which is very good, very nice, very good, very good, very good, very, very good. Um, you've also got tabs up here, which is a nice way of doing it. You can sort of swipe it off to get rid of it. It does like has like this card effect, inspired by WebOS, I'm guessing, because it looks a lot like WebOS. Um, you can also obviously do request desktop site, a back, forward, and save as a favorite. Incognito again. Settings, I don't need to delete anything on this because I haven't actually used it yet. So let's go to the Verge again. Onto the mobile, I'm going to put that on request desktop and see if, you, if it's any better than the stock Galaxy S3 browser. It does seem to be taking a little bit longer, but once it's loaded, you can definitely notice a bit more lag in this than you can on the stock browser which is why I haven't been using this at all really I've been using the stock a bit more I mean this is a much more nicely laid out like with all this card view and opening a new tab up here you go to there you've got the two tabs you can bring that one down and right up do whatever you want with it get rid of it get rid of it but it's not as fast for me anyway I don't know why it keeps doing this actually let's get rid of some of these remove some of these um, so yeah, that was a quick little uh, showing, you, showing off the browser for you on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, be sure to like, subscribe if you like, do whatever you want. Um, Alright, goodbye.